CableNet came out with a Bluetooth keyboard that I could program, um, I used these keyboard shortcuts on some of the extra channels and I was able to take um, an iPad 1 and use switches with it to do uh, music. Um, as you can see this interface not so friendly to uh, beginning switch users. First thing I want to do is round up a keyboard and uh, make sure that it has a USB. Take your switch and plug it in on the side you'll notice there's a button that says learn you're just going to turn that on and automatically um, it switches me to mode 4 which is the first empty mode that you'll see here um, we're going to program F8 into the first button on the white one and then F9 into the other one so uh, to program all I have to do is make sure that it's in learn mode so I've toggled that over now I'm just going to tap on the button, press the button on the keyboard, and then tap it again. And that's it. So I'm going to do the other side, F9, um, that's it, I'm done programming. Pull up a playlist, uh, tap on the first song to start playing the music. Um, Oops. Okay, I have to take it out of learn mode to use my switch. So, um, again, so you'll cue up the music and then you'll give the, the, um, the user a switch such as this one. And I'm going to plug it in to uh, S1 so that I have that play pause feature in this switch. And now, um, as a user, I can use my switch that I normally use to play music on my iPad. Um, I made a list of um, two really different types of music. Um, I have hip-hop and I have uh, bossa nova, so um, hopefully it could be a discrimination type activity for my student. Uh, I'm going to plug this into the other port, and this playlist is about... 20 songs long and if I'm listening and I don't like the song I can hit my switch to go to the next one still bossa nova I'm gonna hit it again actually I kind of like that song so um, I hope you guys like my tutorial um, if you guys know any shortcuts on the keyboard that work with your iPad those would also be good on the Bluetooth um, and if you guys know any other Bluetooth interfaces that you can program, um, please leave those in the comments below. Thank you very much.